Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk about a crucial aspect of renal health, the glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. Understanding GFR is essential for anyone entering the healthcare field, as it's the gold standard in measuring kidney function. So, what exactly is GFR? It's the rate at which blood is filtered through the glomeruli, the tiny filtering units in the kidneys. This rate helps us estimate how much blood passes through these units each minute, giving us a clear picture of how well the kidneys are working. Why is GFR so important? Well, it's a primary indicator of kidney health. It tells us how effectively the kidneys are filtering waste from the blood. A normal GFR varies depending on factors like age and body size. But generally, a GFR of 90 mil mn or higher is considered healthy. Now, measuring GFR directly can be tricky. That's why clinical formulas are often used to estimate it. One common method is the creatinine clearance, which itself is an estimate of GFR. However, creatinine levels can be influenced by various factors, including medications, and therefore aren't always the most reliable. That's where the MDRD and CKD EPI equations come into play. These are more refined methods that take into account age, race, gender, and serum creatinine levels. Between the two, the CKD EPI equation generally performs better, especially when the GFR is above 60 maestros emian per 1.73 maestros. It's essential for medical professionals to understand these methods because they help in diagnosing and managing conditions like chronic kidney disease. Knowing whether a GFR reading is within a normal range allows healthcare providers to take um, appropriate actions, whether that's adjusting a treatment plan or continuing with routine monitoring. So as you move forward in your medical career, keep in mind how vital a role GFR plays. It's not just a number, it's a direct reflection of kidney health and a critical component in patient care. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope this has given you a solid foundation in understanding GFR and its importance in clinical practice.